hey guys welcome back today i'll be making this mesh cardigan with spell sleeves so firstly you're going to take your measurements grab your measuring tape take it around your shoulder from one shoulder to the other shoulder for mine i used about 17 inches and mine is a size small we're going to start with a slip knot and then you chain 65 basically your chain should be as long as what you measured so mine is as long as 17 inches when you're done with 65 chains skip one chain and insert your hook in the next pull up your loop and then you have two loops on your hook yarn over and pull through two Again, insert your hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop, you have two loops, yarn over and pull through two. We're going to make single crochets till the end of this row. So after your last single crochet, you're going to chain three. Then turn your work yarn over and we're going to skip the first stitch insert your hook in the second stitch from your hook pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two then chain two yarn over skip one and insert in the next stitch pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so we're making double crochets chain two yarn over skip one insert in the next one pull up your loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so we're going to make this stitch till the end of the row After your last stitch, chain 3, turn your work, now yarn over and we're placing a double crochet inside the hole. So take your hook directly inside the hole and make a double crochet. Then chain two, yarn over, take your hook directly inside the next hole and make a double crochet. Chain two, again inside the next hole with a double crochet. We're going to repeat this stitch until we have 31 rows, which was about 17 inches for me. And of course, you can make it longer or shorter if you wish. At the end of the row, make your double crochet in the last hole. Chain 3. Then turn your work. Then you're going to continue with this stitch till we have 31 rows. Like I said, when I got to 31 rows, I had about 17 inches. For the neck hole, you're going to measure 6.5 inches. So place your stitch marker there. And when you count, you should have 10 holes. And we're going to do the same thing for the other side. 
so measure 6.5 inches on the other side and you should have 10 holes on the other side too From here you're going to continue with this pattern to the stitch marker and we keep going back and forth until we have 31 rows like the back panel. After your last stitch, turn your work as usual to start the next row. Like I said, here we're going to continue with the pattern until we reach the stitch marker. After you make your last double crochet in the hole where you have your stitch marker, chain 3 as usual, then turn your work. After that, you continue with the pattern. So when you get to your last stitch, chain 3 as usual, turn your work and you continue doing that until you have 31 rows. After 31 rows, you should be able to fold up like this as the front panel. Next, you chain 1, make a long tail and cut off your yarn. Now we're going to do the same thing for the other side. Make 31 rows for the front panel and leave the middle for the neck hole. Next, we're going to sew up the sides with slip stitches. And leave a part open for the armhole. To start the other side, make a slip knot and insert your hook into the first hole. Then pull up a loop and pull the first loop through the other one. Next, chain three. After you make a double crochet in the same hole, then chain 2, yarn over and place a double crochet in the next hole and continue the pattern as usual until you have 31 rows. Here you can see that we are done with both of the front panels and now we are going to slip stitch the sides. I am going to chain one and cut off my yarn. Next make a slip knot and insert your hook in the first hole. Make sure that everything is straight and aligned. So insert your hook in the first hole of the front and back panel. Next yarn over and pull up a loop. Then pull the first loop through the second loop. That's the slip stitch. And go into the second hole. Make sure it's the second hole in the front and back panel. After my slip stitches, I'm going to leave some space for the armhole. For mine, I left between 6.5 to 7 inches for the armhole. Next, I'm going to start the sleeves. So, I'm just going to pick up my work like that. And we're going to continue from where we stopped. So, don't cut off your yarn. From there, you're going to chain 2. I'm not going to chain 3 because I don't want the hole to be too big. And now you're just going to take your hook directly into the next hole. Just into the next hole and place your double crochet. 
then chain two now you're going to place your double crochet in each hole around the arm until we get to where we started now we're back to where we started and you're not going to make any slip stitches you're just going to go directly into the next hole so yarn over and in the next hole place your double crochet then chain two and continue as usual from here you just keep going round no slip stitches just make your double crochets into every hole until you get your desired length so this is what it looks like when i get the length i want and my sleeve measures about 21 inches To finish off the sleeve, you chain one and cut off your yarn. Here, I just want to weave in the ends so that I can show you guys what it looks like when it's done. It may look like it's not leveled, but when you weave in your ends, it looks almost seamless. Now, we're going to do the same thing for the other side. So make your slip knots, align the edges and you're going to make your slip stitches. Again after your slip stitches you're going to leave about 6.5 to 7 inches for your armhole. Then you're just going to pick up your work, chain 2 and start your sleeves. So just take your hook into the next hole, make your double crochet and continue the pattern as usual until you have your desired length. I'm done with the second sleeve and I'm going to chain 1, cut off my yarn and weave in the ends. The next thing we're going to do is to make the border and you need a different color for this we're going to go from where we started the slip stitch to the middle then in the middle we're going to make some chains then come back down with single crochet and continue going around basically we're going to go around the edges with half double crochets and then we come back to where we started this is the color I want to use. Now I'm going to make my slip knot and insert my hook in the first hole, pull up a loop, then pull the first loop through the other one, then chain two. Pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three. Next we're going to make another half double crochet. But this time we're making two half double crochets in one hole. So we're going to be making two half double crochets in each hole for the border. When you get to the edge, make three half double crochets. Then chain one and continue. I actually made double crochets because I forgot that I was making half double crochets. I did half double crochets until 12.5 inches, and from there, we're going to start the strap. We're going to make 50 chains from where we stopped, and if you want your strap longer, you can make more chains. After 50 chains, you're going to skip one and make a single crochet in the second stitch from your hook.
So we're going to make single crochets down the chain that we made. So when we get down, you're going to yarn over and make a half double crochet in the last hole. So we should have three half double crochets in that hole. And continue with two half double crochets in each hole. I placed an extra double crochet in that place so that the hole wouldn't be too big. Now you will just continue with your half double crochets until you get to the other side. And then we're going to make our chains. Then come back and continue downwards. So don't forget to measure your 12.5 inches where you're going to stop. Of course, you can place your stitch marker there even before you start. So I'm just going to continue my half double crochets until I get to that mark. And from there, I'm going to start my chain 50. After chain 50, you're going to go down your 50 chains with single crochet. Like we did before, make one more half double crochet in that hole. And then continue with two half double crochets in each hole. We're going to continue with half double crochets in each hole until we get to where we started. At the end, we're going to make a slip stitch in that gap where we have our first half double crochet. Then chain one and cut off your yarn. The next thing is to weave in your ends and we're done. This is what it looks like at the end. I hope you guys liked it. See you guys in my next video. Bye.